Hi everyone, thank you for joining me in another class. This class is a continuation of the breeding tutorial in the another video in this channel. So if you haven't yet visited that video, I invite you to have a look. It makes more sense um, to know, sorry, it will make more sense to you while you're practicing this class. Right, so, as the name says, move with your breath. We are going to try to move the whole class following our diaphragmatic breathing. Let's begin. What we need is a terraband or a towel or a scarf, any of those that, we ha that you have. So I have a terraband here with me. I'm gonna wrap the terraband around my rib cage. Right, but before that, let's drop it around. I'm skipping a step now. Right, we're gonna start with the next stretch first. So, I'm going ahead with my self vent. Right, I want you to grab the right arm over the head. Now, I want you to go ahead and tip over the head to the right shoulder. Now, stretch your left arm away. You'll find a nice stretch on the left side of the neck up to the shoulder. Now, what you're gonna do here, as you reach the left arm away, I want you to just circle the arm, half a circle forward, trace the floor and then back and then trace forward and then back. And then you may also add, so as you trace around to the back, I want you to just sort of bend the elbows. So I'm just gonna tracing half a circle back and again. And two more. And then, and the last one. And back. And release. You'll find that that side, it feels a lot longer now. It's a lot more relaxed. All right, feels good. Let's go over to the other side here. So I have my left arm over my right, over my head, pulling the right side down to the left, stretching the right side of my shoulder and the neck. And then I'm just going to circle my arm, so trace my arm, my right arm, down half a circle down the floor. And then just use your breath. Inhaling, oh, that's tight there, and exhaling. And then you can also add, as you go back, you're going to bend the elbow, reach the fingertips towards the mid of the back, and then forward again, and then use your breath. Inhale, and exhale. Let's do two more times. Such a great stretch to start this class. One more. And release. Okay, nice and easy shoulder now. All right, you can grab the band now again. So wrap the band around the rib cage. We're going forward with our lateral breathing practice here. Okay, so wrap it around the rib cage, cross it at the front. Nice and tall. You may also choose to cross, sitting with a cross leg. That's fine by me, kneeling, standing, anything. I'm just going to sit up here so you can see better. You can see my ribcage better here. Right, again, inhaling, thinking about the lateral expansion of the ribcage, pushing that ribs out to the side laterally. And an exhale, deflating. Again, inhale. And exhale. As you do this, taking care that your shoulders do not rise up or down. Focus mainly on the expansion of the rib cage into the, um, into the terraband or the towel laterally. And continue breathing here. You may close your eyes, I am. Now, as you exhale, you rem remember the diaphragm relaxes upward into the thorax, into the rib cage. What's gonna happen here? I want you to draw the abdominal walls in, hugging the waistline and lengthening the spine up even taller. Okay, inhale. Rib cage expanding and exhale. Abdominals drawing in and up, hugging the midline. You'll find, as you keep breathing, your spine will grow taller 
and taller. Your shoulder just going to drape down. And you feel a little bit more relaxed. Let's do one more time. And exhale. Okay, we can let that go. Releasing the band, putting onto the side. Okay, now I want you to sit cross-legged here. Okay, all right, take your arms forward, sitting nice and tall. Let's imitate that lateral breathing. I want you to inhale, open the arms out to the side, expand the ribs out, and exhale. As the rib cage deflate, the abdominal hugging tight, the arms come forward. And an inhale. And exhale. I also want you, as you do this, to let the shoulder be nice and easy. To let the shoulder just rest in the armpit girdle. Okay, inhale. Expanding, exhale. One more, inhale. Ribs goes as wide as possible. Exhale. Let's take one more inhale as you open the arms to the side. And exhale, let it settle on the side and turn the palms out. Now, let's inhale. I want, to I want you to rotate to your right, which is my left. And then exhale. The ribcage contraction, the abdominal contraction, pull the spine back to the center. And over to the other side, so inhale. And exhale. The motion of the ribcage and abdominal brings you back to the middle. Inhale. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Allow the breath to move you. And allow your body to move with the breath. Stay in the middle. Now into a lateral flexion, side bend, turn the palms down. We're gonna inhale to your right, my left. Side bend over, reach the arm over your head. Exhale. Come back. Inhale over. Expanding the rib cage at the top. Exhale. Again, inhale. Again, making a point that the breath moves you. One more each side. Last one. And let it all go. Coming down onto the floor, lying on your side, please. So, tucking the knees in front of you. You can tuck the feet aligned with the back, reaching the bottom arm long here. Okay, now I want you to create a nice line with the spine, okay? The top arm will hug the bottom ribs here. All right, going back to a lateral breathing again, I want you to inhale and then feel the rib catch expanding into your hand. So. And an exhale. It deflates in and the abdominal wall comes up and tighten up in the waist. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Ribs widening out on both sides. Exhale. You can feel it with your hand here on the underneath side. One more. And exhale. And let it go. Now take your arms forward, like so. Stack the arms, let the head release. If this doesn't feel comfortable with you, feel free to put a pillow or cushion underneath your head here, okay? Now, I want you to inhale to reach the top arm out and away. And then exhale, the action of the ribs pull you in back to your original position. And inhale. And exhale. 
Inhale. And exhale. One more. And exhale. Good job. Interlace the fingers at the back of your hand. All right, let's add some rotation here. Now, we inhale, I want you to open the top arm and rotate the chest to the back wall. And exhale, allow the ribs to start the spine back, to move the spine back to a starting position. Inhale, rotating up. And an exhale. Again, inhale. And exhaling. One more time. Inhaling. And exhaling. And release that. Helping yourself up, coming up onto a mermaid position. Now we're going to take the outside arm up to the ceiling as you inhale. And an exhale, drawing the abdominal. One more inhale, breathing to the top rib cage, expanding it up to the side. Exhale, and coming up over to the other side, please. Okay, so we're going to start lying. Bottom arm is long. You can have your feet aligned with the back spine, with the spine. But top arm. A top hand, wrapping the bottom ribs. And let's do some lateral breathing here. So inhale, feeling the um, bottom rib cage expanding into your hand. And exhale, and it contracts back in. And inhale, and exhale. Again, don't let the lower back sag down to the floor here. Maintaining a nice long spine alignment. Exhale. One more. And exhale. Okay. Taking your arms forward. Stack the arms one on top of the other. Now, let's move forward as you inhale, reach it up. Exhale, the ribs draws in and move the spine back to a starting position. And an inhale. And exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale. And exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. Good job. Now moving on to the chest expansion. All right, interlace the hands at the back of your head. Okay, inhale. Open the chest, rotate yourself back. And exhale. And inhale, rotating the chest out again. Use your breath, so breath sorry, to move you. Exhale. And let's do two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Well done. Coming up. Okay, let's come up to sitting position. Right there. Okay, now I want you to grab the hand underneath the thigh here. The feet are hip width apart, the spine is nice and long. So, if you watch my tutorial um, about the breathing, remember that when you exhale, the diaphragm relaxes up. Okay, so think about that. So, inhale, the diaphragm contracts down. Exhale it relaxes up. As it relaxes up, the abdominal wall comes in together. Okay, let's do one more time. Inhale, diaphragm contracts down. Exhale, diaphragm relaxes up. Now let's add some spinal flexion. So inhale, prepare. 
exhale, I want you to draw in the abdominal wall as the diaphragm relaxes up and pull yourself into a flexion, into a run back here. Now, watching that you don't collapse in that spine, okay? So thinking about the abdominal drawing up, pushes or yeah, pushes the diaphragm up towards the thorax, towards the rib cage. And then come back up again. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. You know what? Let's do one more time. Exhale. Push yourself that way. Lengthen up the spine here. Exhale. Inhale, sorry, come up. Now, let's go into roll back. Exhale, we roll it back and then bring yourself down. You can stretch your arm here. You can get the shoulder, you can get the lower back down on the floor. And then exhale, pull in. Diaphragm comes up, belly comes in. Bring your body over your hip and lift up. Exhale. Diaphragm relaxes up, belly comes in, the spine nice and long. And exhale. Inhale, up. One more. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Inhale, up. And exhale. And let's take yourself down and go all the way down to the floor. Okay, moving on into some chest lift. I want you to interlace your hands, put it at the back of the head here. Okay, elbows comes off the floor a little bit. So as you inhale, remember lateral breathing, lateral expansion of the rib cage. And then exhale, as the rib cage deflates, the abdominal comes in and also the upper chest flexes forward. Now, we're going to take the arms forward, grab the back of your thighs, you inhale, and then exhale, arms return to the back of your head, and inhale, return down, and exhale, coming up, inhaling, expanding the ribs, exhaling, contracting the ribs, belly comes in, arms back, inhale, return, and again, exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath, last one, exhale, arms forward, inhale, exhale, arms back, and inhale, return, moving on, exhale, flex forward again, inhale, hold, now exhale, I want you to rotate to me, so grab just my right arm, Grab my, I'm grabbing my right arm to my left thigh. And we're gonna stay here. Now we're gonna inhale, expand the ribs, exhale, drawing it in, and an inhale, and exhale. You're gonna feel that obliques working. Exhale, one more, and exhale, transferring the hands back, center and return over to the other side. So we exhale to come forward, come up, and we rotate. Grabbing my left hand underneath my right thigh, and we breathe here, inhale. Exhale, ribcage expanding. Exhale, again, inhale. Try to get the shoulder blades off the floor, the underneath shoulder blade, that is. Two more. Last one. Inhale, arms back, center, and we return. Well done. All right, take your arms down by the side here. We're gonna do some pelvic curl, but we're gonna break it into four parts. So, inhale. As you exhale, draw the abdominal on your two, imprint the lower back onto the floor. The bottom comes off just to there, so just to this position. And then inhale, and exhale, take it a little higher, so your lower back comes off, just the rib cage on the floor, and then inhale again. Exhale, now this time the rib cage comes off, coming up onto the shoulder blade. Okay, now inhale, exhale, 
shoulder blade goes down, and an in breath, exhale, rib cage comes down, and an in breath, exhale, lower back comes down, and the last one, inhale, exhale, pelvis back to neutral. Let's do that again. Inhale, exhale, pressing the lower back down, bottom comes off, inhale, Exhale, lower back comes off onto the rib cage. Inhale. Exhale, rib cage comes off onto the shoulder blade. Inhale. Exhale, shoulder blade comes off onto the top of the shoulder. And reverse that. Inhale. Exhale, shoulder blades. Inhale. Onto the rib cage. Inhale. Lower back, in breath, and to neutral. One last set, in breath, lower back down, inhale, rib cage down, lower back comes off, inhale, rib cage comes off onto your shoulder blades, inhale, on the top of the shoulder. And reverse that. Shoulder blades. Rib cage. Lower back. And back to the neutral pelvis. Drawing the center in as you exhale. Lower, lift one leg up to the tabletop. Second one. To the tabletop. Open your arms slightly wider than your mat. Now, I want you to keep that knees hugging together. Let's inhale towards me as you rotate. And an exhale, back to the middle. Over to the other side as you inhale, allowing the movement to come from the spine. Exhale, center. Again, inhale, widening the rib cage. Let it settle on the floor. Exhale, as the rib cage deflate, the abdominal comes in, the leg comes back to the center, and one more. Exhale, and center, taking arms overhead, okay? Now, inhale again, exhale, let's take your body up into a hundredth breath. Now let's stay here. Inhale, I want you to take your arms, expand to the side like the ribcage. Exhale. So if we're emulating what's happening in the lateral breathing with the arms. Exhale. Two more. Oh, big thunderstorm happening outside. And one more. Exhale. And then take the arms up and then coming back down. Let's go into hundreds here. So with the hundreds, I want you to take a long inhalation, really try to move that ribs out to the side. Exhale, expel all the air you have in your lungs out, drawing the abdominals so tight. And again, inhale and exhale. Same, five pumps on the inhale and the exhale. So here we are, exhale. Coming up into that position, we'll do a tabletop today. Now, let's inhale to prepare, and then exhale. Inhale. Focusing on the breathing. Expanding, contracting the rib cage. Immerse yourself with your breath. Allow the shoulder to be nice and easy. One more time. Well done. Take the arms up, return your head back, arms down, lower one foot down, second one down, stretch your legs away. Let's go into your roll ups. Turn the palms facing each other. Well, guys, it's very dark outside and it's only four o'clock. 
in the afternoon. Let's take your arms up here. And then inhale to lift the chest up again into a chest lift. And then exhale, then draw the center in. <sighs> Ribs comes in and bring yourself up over your pelvis. And breath out, get that sacrum down. You know, the diaphragm relaxes up. Drawing the abdominal in so tight into your spine so your lower back can come down and take your arms overhead. And then inhale, expand the back of the ribs. Exhale. <sighs> Diaphragm relaxes up, abdominal comes in, and the body goes over. Again, exhale. <sighs> and then take yourself overhead. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. <sighs> and coming up. Nice and tall here. Open your arms up to the side. Let's do some spine twist seated. Now let's go towards me. Double breath. With twist. Inhale. And. And center. And center. Use your breath to return back. Two more sets. Last set, last one, come back and release. Turn yourself towards the screen, coming onto your forearm, stretch your legs away, into your side kick, but we're gonna use the forearm down on the floor. Right, press the floor away, shoulder and your elbow is one line. I want you to hug that bottom arm, went onto underneath the bottom ribcage. So lift it up here. All right, take the top leg up, flex the foot here. Now we're gonna do double kick forward. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. When I inhale, I feel that my ribs is pushing my hand away. Do you feel that too? Two more. Last one. Hold. Stay there. Stretch your legs. Stretch your arm in the opposite direction. And let's just stay here. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And coming back. All right. Swing your leg over to the other side. Like so. If you can. If you have the space. Right. So. Forearm on the floor, shoulder, elbows aligned. Top arm hugging the bottom ribs up so it doesn't sag down like so. Pick it up, support it. Take the top leg up. All right, flex the top foot and we go exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continue, guys. So what's happening here, as I exhale, I feel that my ribs is lifting upward. My underneath rib catcher is. Now when I inhale, I feel like my rib catcher is pushing my hand down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last set. Inhale. Coming back into center. And I'm sorry, let's take the leg back. Stretch the arm forward. How can we forget this wonderful stretch? So, reach the back leg and the arms away from each other. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Coming back to center. Okay. Come back. Or come up onto the all four here. Now, you know what? Grab the bend. If you have a band, if you don't have a band, you can emit that, that's okay. I want you to wrap the band around the back of the rib cage, and I want you to stretch it and go onto an all four position. Now I know the band wants your body to stick down, but I want you to counteract that. Okay, so let's do some breathing again. Inhale. Uh, really try to focus on the lateral expansion on the posterior side of the spine, but make sure you don't round your back though, so no movement in the spine. And exhale, lateral expansion of the rib cage. And exhale, two more. I sometimes feel this band helps me to find 
Where is my back rib cage? Then allow the sternum to reach forward, shoulders easy, okay? Inhale. It also allows your abdominal, the top abdominal mu muscle to work to support that pull of the bend. Listen, let's do one more time. All right, let's stabilize that. Right, what's gonna happen is as you exhale, you're gonna draw the center, you slide one leg away and then bring it up. And then bring it in. Switch over. And then bring it in. And switching. And inhale. And inhale. Keeping an absolute stability in the spine as you extend the leg back. Shoulders nice and easy. I'm engaging my lats, the muscle underneath my armpit at the back of my body. And one last one. And come back in. All right, release that carefully. Let the bend out to the side and then come out, come down onto your belly here. Now, I want your hand to be placed on the outside of the mat like a goal post, okay? Reaching the legs back, drawing the abdominal in here. Take an inhale. Exhale, picking up the lower abs, gliding the shoulders down here. And on the next inhale, you're going to press the arm down and allow the neck to float up, the upper chest to come up into your maximum mid back extension here. Neck nice and long. I don't want you to jam that neck at the back like so. Keep it long. I'm feeling a tremendous tremendous work in my mid back region here and I'm exhaling to come down and again inhaling gliding the shoulder blade allowing my neck to float and coming up into my maximum mid back or thoracic extension and then exhaling and come down one more like so inhale gliding my shoulder blade pressing the flow away lifting up my chest and hold. Now from here, I want you to inhale, take one leg up and down. And then the other leg up and down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Two more set. Inhale. Last one, inhale, bring everything in and down and return yourself down to the floor. Well done. Bring your hands underneath the armpit, push your floor away and sit back onto your pelvis, reach the arms long. Release the pelvis to the floor, relax the head down. A well deserved breath. Let's breathe together. Inhale. Expand that wrist as much as you can. And exhale. Deflate it. Just like all the weight of your body, just melt it down to the floor. Inhaling. Challenge that lungs. How much air can you take in? Exhale. How much? Relaxation can you invite to your body by ex exhaling all the air out. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more time together. And I wanted to help yourself up. Coming up into a sitting position. Well done. Thank you for joining me in my Move With Your Breath class. I hope that helps you to understand better about what is a diaphragmatic breathing, what is a lateral breathing, and what is an intercostal breathing. They're all the same thing. I hope to see you in my other uh, tutorial or class. If you like what you're watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you later.